Good morning, it's Monday, May 30th. Happy Memorial Day, day 73. I'm headed to uh, Tinker Cliffs. I'm already in the ledges and uh, it's really hot and humid. I got up uh, and left camp by 8.15, 8.20 and uh, I'm 2.2 miles in, almost an hour. And uh, I have a dilemma. I could probably make Daleville today, but I don't think my package is there yet. So I don't know if I'm gonna find a stealth site right before Daleville and wait it out or just tap out and go to Daleville and watch the Rangers tonight and cool off and shower. And maybe my package will come in the morning. I don't know. Or I can go beyond Daleville tomorrow and come back uh, for the package after a couple choices on Highway 43 or uh, Jennings Creek. So let me get humping. Ah, oh, just ascended Tinker's Cliffs. That was a pretty good workout, if I do say so myself. going I understand the downhill might be a little technical the uphill was not so much technical but really steep and it's fucking hot and I am thirsty sucks conserving your water Let's see what's on the very, very tip top here, if anything. Geez, better than I thought. Very much like McAfee Knob. I sure am glad I waited for better weather. This is nice. That's when she said, Well, over there, I guess. I'm finding Tinker Cliffs to be uh, way more enjoyable than McAfee Knob. Less crowded, more chill, and you walk along the, the ledge for quite some time, comparatively speaking. Um, and you just keep coming out on these out outcroppings that give you beautiful views, and so it's not like you have to wander off trail to get to one or two spots. It's really gorgeous, actually. Yeah, Tinker Cliffs. Not sure why I uh, didn't have that on my radar, and why I didn't remember the name of it. So I'm descending now along this beautiful set of outcroppings and I'm just going to enjoy it just wanted to share my opinion on how see you can just keep coming right out here and so the people spread out and are enjoying their snacks and lunches beautiful Virginia.
finally got one of those buggers. Anybody knows what that is, let me know. I think it's called a skink. Some kind of little lizard guy. So it's easy for me to say this now, but I had a bit of a philosophical epiphany. And being the control, controlling and uh, I wouldn't say controlling in a bad way, controlling in a way that like, I try to always make things the best and I hate disappointment and I hate when things don't go well and, um, but it's probably easy to say this now that it's uh, not 25 degrees with 60 mile an hour wind gusts and I'm not stuck in snowstorms near freezing to death or, <clears throat> or in pouring rain with all my stuff getting wet. And now that I've become accustomed to the grueling and nonstop ascents and descents, um, I think I had a little, little realization that I don't think I've heard it quite this way before, but I think I've been trying to get the mountain to come to me, not let it come to me. I thought that was a pretty cool thing and I've never heard that. And I hope it makes sense. It's like, instead of letting the mountain, let, letting the mountain come to me and just dealing with whatever comes my way, I've been trying to almost will it past me. Get past this, get past that. Fuck this, fuck that. Push through, fuck that mountain. Instead of just being like, it is what it is. And uh, I'll deal with it when I get there. And I mean, that's not an unfamiliar concept, but uh, you know, getting to that point where you accept it is different than running around the mountainside saying, you know, happy trails or, uh, you know, hey, if you don't finish the, the trail will be there. The trail's not going away. Well, I mean, what are you, God? The trail's not gonna go away? How do you know it's not gonna go away? I mean, could be an earthquake. Could uh, uh, they could decide you're not allowed to hike it anymore? You could uh, get off the trail and stroke out, and you don't have an option. So the trail might go away, and you gotta hit it when you hit it. So anyway, yeah, I mean this isn't rocket science. I don't, it's not a uh, necessarily a new concept, but I kind of like the, the the term. Don't get the mountain to come to you, let it come to you. I don't know. I just was thinking about that right now on this 80 degree humid day. So I have an option and I wish there was a way I could do this live, but I'm too lazy, but going to Daleville and risk zeroing until my package comes in and have a couple beers and watch the Rangers or stealth camp right on the edge of town and keep an eye on the tracking, package tracking app, or st stealth camp and then go through town and come back, I don't know. So I just made a reservation in Daleville. Here's my strategy. A, I'm lazy. B, I want to shower. C, I can get some cold beers. D, I can watch the Rangers. And E, I can get my package. Now the question becomes, what if my package doesn't come today, which is not supposed to come today, it's supposed to come tomorrow. Well, if it doesn't come in the morning, then maybe I'll slack pack and extend my stay another night. So, I'm rationalizing. That's what's called, that's what's called rationalizing. 
like to be on a fucking boat down there right now. Oh. Holy shit. These last four miles heading into Daleville alongside a reservoir have been fucking murdering me. Talk about bouldering and non-stop. Uh, wasn't any crazy ascents or descents for this three mile period, but the rocks are killing me. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Climb, roll your feet, roll. And it is so fucking hot. I'm fucking tired. I still got 2.4 to go. Uh, Tinker Cliffs, my ass. A nice breeze kicked up just now, but it's too late. Holy shit, I didn't see this coming. I was about to say my feet have been improved since getting these inserts. Holy shit. I'm fucking tired. What a long day. 15-3. Now I'm walking the highway like a bum. To the comfort in. At least I know where I uh, about where I am now. Zigzagging through traffic, almost getting run down. Still gotta do laundry. Unpack my shit, clean up. Uh, I've got a problem with my granite gear bag here. The uh, belt strap is tearing. That would be a disaster if that rips off. Why aren't I being sponsored by Granite Gear, Lecky Poles, Nike, Nemo? Anybody have any ideas on whether I can get compensated for this before it's too late and I end up without being able to secure my belt? Here I am, back at the Troutville Comfort in. My feet are killing me. <clears throat> What's up, kitty? I know. Everybody giving you water and food? Oh, wow. You need to come home with Deppy. You want to come home with Deppy? No? Poor kebabs. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about us, right? I know, nobody cares.